So I've managed to monkey my way up another stage in the convict conditioning program. And it's exciting. It's exciting times here at the Vegetable Police Network. And I just want to share my thoughts with you on the previous stage. What did I do? What did I accomplish? What would I do different? Let's do this. You're a mystery with a mission so critical. You didn't come to this earth to act political. Acting out your truth is so medicinal. So yesterday was bridge slash handstand day. And I managed to conquer the bridge, the head bridge. The one where you lower yourself and your head smashes into the ground every rep. I may be doing it wrong. So the goal on these is two sets of 25. And my first attempt, I got 17 and 18. I was like, all right, I'm getting closer. Next week, I was 20 and 21. I was like, I'm going to kill this. But the next week, I was 21 and 21. Then I started questioning my sexuality. I was like, what the hell's going on? I was barely getting stronger. But that's when I started the one meal a day program. Or I was in the middle of it. And I wasn't adapted yet. So I didn't eat enough the day before, maybe. I don't know. I felt like a weak bitch. But the next week, 24 and 25, I'm one. I was one rep away. I was like, couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. But yesterday, I conquered it. I know I didn't. That was last week. I'm so far superior to my last week's body. It's not even funny. It's not even funny. Look at that. So I beat it. It's always such a great sense of accomplishment when you finish one of these stages. So you get the reps that you're supposed to and then you can move on to the next stage. So what's the next stage you ask? You're asking. It's the half bridge. So this one's a little awkward. You're supposed to put like a basketball or a soccer ball, synthetic not made of leather, you pig leather bitch. So you get a ball and you're supposed to like lay down on it it was so awkward this thing was pinching my back i was like ow and so i tried it again you get into position and i realized that the ball is a bit too towards my shoulders it's supposed to be in the small of your back so as i started doing these reps I'm, i could go lower you can see that the ball should be a little bit more forward but we work with what we got but I did this and I completed it. The goal is two sets of 20. So first set, we nailed it, 20. These actually fell easier than the head bridge for some reason, I don't know why. I know exactly why, it's 25 reps for the head bridge and then only 20 for the full bridge. Half bridge, go fuck yourself. So that's one of the things I love about the convict conditioning program is the earlier steps are such high reps, you're doing like the first one, short bridges are 50, three sets of 50, but they get lower and lower on the reps, the harder the exercise is. So it's actually, I enjoy like super hard, low rep exercises, it's more fun. So my second set was a little strange, a little strange. I was, I was getting into position and I got there, I got there and I started doing a couple reps and then something strange happened. Embarrassing. That's not a full bridge. <laughs> Your feet aren't even flat on the floor. What are you doing? Is that ball leather? <laughs> <laughs> I can't watch any more of this. I hired Brett from Canuck and the Brit as a motivational trainer, but he kind of just demotivates you in a way, like just insults you. And I, I, I think that's supposed to push you, but I, I wanted to cry. I held it in, but I let it out later when he left. So anyways, if my calculations are correct and I counted right, I got it two sets of 20 I beat that in one day so I'm on I'm on to the next stage and I want to show you this little chart I made 
I encourage you to start the convict conditioning program. It's so fun. It's just, it's all about health. It's taking it easy. It's the taking it easy approach to exercise. You can build a strong body. You don't have to work out six days a week for hours. You can do that if you want and you will get bigger. You'll get better results. But this is more for people who are like, I want a decent looking body, but I don't want to dedicate my life to it. This is just, this is the way for me. If you're lazy and you still want results and you want to feel strong, this builds strength, not size. My biceps used to be a lot bigger. You know why? I just realized that the pull-ups I used to do were the chin-ups and that's much more of a bicep exercise and now I'm doing these, which is like, works your bum. It doesn't. So I encourage you to start this program and I will make tutorials on how to do each step. The first five steps is coming for beginners. So be on the lookout for that. But I made this chart that visually represents where I am. So as you can see, the green is steps I've completed. The red means I haven't even completed the baby step of that exercise. So there's always three stages to each exercise. Like just as an example, the short bridge, the beginner stage is 10 reps. Once you can do that, you move on, you try to get two sets of 25. That's the intermediate stage. And then the master step of that exercise is three sets of 50. So there's three stages always to each exercise. Once you pass the master step, you move on to the next stage. So the light green box just means I'm on the middle step and I'm, I'm about to pass that. There should actually be four colors, but go fuck yourself. So this was also handstand day and the goal is a one armed handstand push up. That's the master step of this section. And I'm not even close. This is actually my weakest area because I've never done these. I didn't realize there was stages to this. I just started with the full on handstand push up, and I was getting shoulder pain. I was like, oh my God, this is too much. So I didn't realize there was all these baby steps and these are no joke. These are no joke. I'm telling you, like just the wall headstand. I was struggling with my triceps just to balance myself. I was like, holy shit, it took me a while to beat that. I think it took me three weeks to beat that. And the crow stands were easier for me for some reason. It took me two weeks to beat those. So I'm on stage three of this, the wall handstand. It's just a handstand against the wall. Your feet are resting against the wall. And this is so hard. It's so hard. Two minutes seems impossible. My first attempt, I got a minute and 10 seconds and I'm shaken. And I managed to beat it by 10 seconds the next week, but since then it's only been five seconds increase each week so i'm on my fifth week now and my latest one you can see i'm shaking and i managed to get a minute and 35 seconds barely so i just like i'm about to collapse when i give up on these so it seems like two minutes is a long way off it's like maybe i'll get a minute 40 next time but i feel like giving up after a minute and it's just like, I'm trying to hold on, but the mind is so powerful. When you have a number to beat in your mind, you can do it. You're like, I know I did this last week. I got a minute and 30 seconds last week. So I know I can beat that. I can do it. I'm getting stronger. So I do it and you can do it too. So I look forward to beating that step. I will make a new video every time I reach a new stage. So I just beat the pull-ups. So that's coming in a couple days, my new pull up. I think it's the half pull up. So I gotta find a new bar. Gotta find a new bar here in Chiang Mai, Thailand. So we're making progress here on the one meal a day restaurant cleanse. And I'm starting to add in a weekly 48 hour fast on top of my daily 23 hour fast. So I only eat for seven hours a week now. Six, shit. So the diet seems adequate so far and the fasting with the increased growth hormone I do believe is helping the muscle growth. So it should be interesting because I'm gonna fast 48 hours Sunday and work out Monday after the 48 hour fast. So we should see 
The growth hormone should be so peaked at that time. It should be the best workout ever. You would think after a fast, you're like, oh, I'm weak. I haven't had any food. We are power beings of the night. We're so powerful. We don't need food. Yes, we do. We need lots of it. But for energy, we suck the stardust out of the space. That's what I run on. So then you refuel with the earth food if you need it. So I think we're done. We're done here. Thanks for watching the video. Thumbs up if you liked it. Wow. Thumbs down. If you taught a family of possums how to do your laundry because you're lazy and you, you pay them in corn nuts. So thumbs down if that's what you do. And we're done. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more videos. Subscribe to the podcast. I already linked it. See you in the next video and podcast.